And we are back, good people. And as you can see, we got our pretty cameras up. It's Baron J67. What's going on? It's T Jones. I'm back the other week. What's up, man? Man, nothing much, bro. Actually, a lot much, but it, it just is so trippy because I really got to once again, and I, I know I say this a lot, I'm just thankful because we're sitting here and we're grinding it out where we're growing, we're making progression, we're falling forward. Uh, that was probably the coolest advice I ever heard. Was What's fe- this, episode 15, right? I believe so. And we're getting a lot more consistent with it. Yes. Yeah, and that and that's the goal. The goal is to try to stay as consistent as possible with the the podcast because mm-hmm. the podcast is kind of our thing, our weekly thing. Whether we you know stream on a weekly basis, we want to continue doing the podcast for a fact on a weekly basis. So, yeah, man, I've been I've been good, man. This week flew by for me. Um, was at the job doing the job thing. That was right. that was fun. That was fun. Uh, you know, I say that. In the most humblest way as possible. That was right. fun. And uh <laughs> and uh yeah, man, got back to it. Got day off. I got a paint. I got some painting to do tomorrow, but I'm just here, dog. I'm just here. Cool. It out. Man, speaking of house stuff, man, I, I my yard looks like a post apocalyptic wasteland. It looks like it belongs <laughs> in Fallout. I I got buff buff gophers destroying the yard they out there thugging on me it's so bad we shall lay siege. <laughs> man they out there the old pack still stand making peace with the I cats know. like it I know. Uh, <laughs> bro. hey man no, I, i've been you know same thing here my yard is bare uh i just i, I ain't got the time for it right now and i know i don't have the time for it right now because i just don't want to go out there and do it especially since i got so much stuff going on not only with this but at work and uh, right hey i i had i had an older guy he was like you know what gardening stuff that's an old man's game he was like you ain't at that age yet you you're not even at that point where you want to be on the yard watering the grass for 15 20 minutes like if i'm watering it it's sprinkler it but it (laughs) but whatever man but but using technology (laughs) man i need to put a dope system in where i go out there and clap my hands and then Unclap, but just my luck, I'd forget, and my yard be yeah. flooded, and my bill be five hundred dollars. <laughs> the whole block got free that. water. It, it'd be so bad. I just, oh man. But hey, man, listen, I, I, I wanna, I wanna shout you out because last week you said something to me, and I, I went, I, I took it as a grain of salt when you first said it, but <laughs> I went and listened to the Black Panther album, and I'm gonna have to agree with you, man. I think that album is kind of. One of Kendrick's best bodies. Let me not say that. Best albums uh, compared to the albums that he has put out. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Only reason why it is, is because every song on there, you can play on the radio. You can play in the clubs. You can you can literally ride to. You can mm-hmm. push in the flip to. All of those songs get you, you know, get you going. They're not. And and this is not a shot or nothing. I think everything that K, that uh, K Dot has touched has been a classic True. up until this point. But um, not everything. His replayability in in some of his albums is not there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like some albums, you listen to it one, two, three times, and that's it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I never. Uh, you know that that was my whole look at Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar makes classics, and and I all I put it in the form of this: he makes movies and books with his albums. Very true. Movies and books. That's what they are. Very when very true. In the movie and book, back to back to back, the same thing over and over again. Whereas club songs and songs that you can you know bop and dance to. Yeah, yeah. This is the first time where pretty much every song on there is that. You know. I don't know, man. That 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 was a dope. That was a dope album, and I I just couldn't get enough of it. I still I haven't even listened. I haven't listened to Nipsey's album. I haven't listened to nothing, nothing. Only that album, and it's because that album is so good. I'm gonna tell you. I've told you this before. I've said it on Twitter. I think Future, Future messed up. He messed up a great song, and I'm gonna say that looking into the camera. I hope you see this. You messed up. Big time. Slumberindo. 
That was the worst. No, Absol had the Abso had the best verse on that album. The second best verse on the album, which was hella dope, is Two Chains. Two Chains had the second best dope oh, yeah. verse on that album. Man, that album was great. Well put together thing. Every song fit a scene in the movie. And and you so, know, you know what I loved about it so much about that CD is, and I know I uh, I was jocking it last week, but the reason I loved it so much is because take away Black Panther and it's still a dope album. You know, it's not, it's, yeah. it's not like this album is riding the wave of Black Panther. No, this album standalone competing against any other album is any a hitter. Any, is any, a hitter. Any album. It's, it's not yeah. even, it's not even a dope soundtrack. No, it's a dope album. I, I, I was telling the guy this, every song on that album can play next to Humble. Mm, every I song agree. on there can play next to humble like that is a a playlist type deal and and it's because you know i guess that's what they were looking for when they made it but when you listen to kendrick's kendrick alone's body of work the album has to flow like it has to mean and say something it's, a story. it's not always gonna be you know it's not always gonna be the the track that you hear on the radio or in the club type deal but that's what makes him such a great artist. I even had an argument with a guy that said he don't think Kendrick Lamar can rap with the best of them. And I understood his point because Kendrick Lamar, he he comes out and gives us spurts of rapping. Yeah. Like first he, was, he's uh, more, he story tells more than anything else. Exactly. What what was the um I forget the name of the song, but it was that song. That was the anthem when we went to your bachelor's when we went to uh, Vegas. Oh. Uh, what was the name of that song? Was it Rigor Mortis? Um, no. Um, I forget the name of it. But anyway, that song, and then we had um, uh, the control verse where he was uh... actually rapping and murdering people. And then he dropped the heart poor, the, 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 the heart. heart part four uh-huh. that came out. That's It's about to be a year since that came out. It came Damn. out the end of March. Young so, <laughs> <laughs> hey, so listen, he that dude can rap. He just don't have to rap, you know, when he's putting out projects and albums and stuff. I mean, I just, I, I just look. This, the for, Black Panther album was fire, man. It was, it was fire. fire, and I have to. I, I'm not the one to give it to you all the time, but hey, man, that that was a good call on your behalf. And I and once again, I stand by it. If I had to line up all of Kendrick's albums, because I do call this Kendrick's album. Because he's mm-hmm. his voice is on ninety nine percent of the tracks, even when he's not yeah. even listed as an artist, you can hear him. Um, paramedic, or, yeah, paramedic. Uh, there, that song with Two Chains, I don't think he was on that, but they, you can hear him in the intro. Um, oh yes, it was Schoolboy Q, uh-huh. Two Chains, and then James something. Uh-huh. I forget the last name of that guy, but and that's and that's what I'm saying. But but besides that, I that get that. Okay, the movie. Back to the movie. I know we keep touching on it. The only reason I keep touching on it is because it keeps making headlines. This uh-huh. movie hasn't even reached China and Japan yet, and it's already at $700 million on its second weekend. Yeah. Break oh, it, se- it, that That is crazy. I'm, I'm thinking that this movie is going to crack $3 billion. I think it's going to be up there with Avatar. I truly, so. I truly think so. China yeah, hasn't I, even touched it yet. Yeah, biggest population I, I on said, earth hasn't even touched it. I said two billion. I said, I said two billion. Mm. That's um, a solid. That's a solid bet. I gave it two billion up. I mean, it's only a few day de- or what? Um, it's the second weekend. Does Deadpool come out in March? Ooh, don't don't get me to lying. Um. I want to say it is March. No, May. I want to say it's May. Okay, so... Um, when does Deadpool, Deadpool come right. out? Yeah, it's May. May 18th. Uh-huh. Inf- Infinity War comes out in May as well, right? Mm-hmm. So Infinity War comes out May. Uh, yeah, May 4th. And then when does the... Uh, it's another Marvel movie coming out as well, right? Okay, so this year we have. Or that's at the end of the year. I think what, that's Ant at Man the end and of Wasp. The year. Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah. Ant Man Wasp. They got Venom. 
Venom comes out, yeah. Okay, yeah. now let's let's talk so, about that Venom trailer. Uh-huh. I'm a I, bi- you know what? I I haven't been able to break it down, so you can't ask me nothing. Okay, well, I ain't going to ask you nothing. I'm going to just give you my opinion. It was boo-boo trash sauce. And it was boo-boo trash really? sauce because, and they not because they didn't show Venom. That I'm not even going to be that that simple-minded. It was boo-boo yeah. trash sauce because if you didn't know what you were looking at, you just, even as somebody who knows what to look for and looking at, I didn't know what the hell I was looking at. It was like a regular movie. It, it just it looked, looked like, like a regular movie. They missed a serious opportunity to hit us over the head with something See, crazy. And then to let waste... Me take, let me... Oh, go ahead. I'm going. And, and to waste Tom Hardy like that in that trailer. And I'm only talking about the trailer. If I had to base everything right now, whether or not I was going to go see that movie, taking the fanboy away from it, I probably would wait until I was read a couple a teaser? of these. Was it a it teaser was, trailer or a trailer? It, it was a teaser trailer, but they didn't tease nothing. There was nothing okay. to tease. I see right, more. Let me, let me. I see more in Nike shoe commercials than I seen. I get more action out of that than I got. Let me, let, let me stop you because when I when I first heard that they were making a Venom movie, I instantly got pissed off. True. Instantly got pissed True. off. And the reason why is because uh, there was no buildup of Brock. Yeah, they you know, they like, haven't built up Brock. Started, you didn't start it over the the Spider-Man series three times already. And can we please have a moment of silence and just pray and hope that um, they don't restart the universe for at least a good five to six years? Moment of silence. I doubt if they're going to do that. Uh, we've said that before. Moment of silence. <laughs> okay. I don't think, um, I'm a te- I don't. I can tell you why I don't think that. I don't think they're going to do that, and that's that's because they're having so some somebody major has to die for that to happen. What are you talking about? Andrew like, Garfield had the best series ever, the most emotional scene I've ever seen in my life. I've never almost cried in a Spider-Man movie. I almost cried when old girl yeah, didn't make it. That, that's just Spider-Man, but they could have took Spider-Man out of that. They start. They started Spider-Man over. This is second. This, well, that's the third. Third. Time. And I agree with you. And I agree with you. What I'm saying to you is that I don't think like this new Spider-Man that they made, and then to see the Venom, like you don't have Venom without Spider-Man. Oh, I get. You know what okay. You know what okay. Okay. So it, th- go ahead. that's my problem, and that's my concern. Uh, that's why I was a little disappointed. I'm like, damn, y'all made Tom. First of all, Tom Hardy looks old, and he don't look like no high school student. And then, second of all, you got, you know, Peter Parker still in high school in this universe. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit my, I hit my so, <laughs> so, hey, but basically, I get what you're saying. And that's actually something that I was going to get to as well. It bothered the hell out of me that you completely separated the universe. You made it seem like yeah. Venom exists off on his own and his own universe without even thinking of Spider-Man. Now, who I'm trying to figure out how in the hell they're going to even tie it in or even if they're going to tie it in. Well, I heard they're gonna re they're gonna remake the Spider Man. Well, I think I've seen it somewhere, but I'm not sure how much that was true. That's just a what if type deal. Mm. And even even if so, you know what more could they do? Like they would have to keep Venom separate from Spider Man, or they would have to change it. Like have a different have Venom. To, you know, he gonna have to be Venom for now, and then change Venom. Change Venom. <laughs> Coming into like, the, <laughs> you know, so with me, that's my that's where I was a little bit disappointed at because you can't have Venom without Spider Man, like you just don't have you can't have that. And then, <clears throat> like we were talking about the uh, the whole Marvel universe now, mm. like think about think we can see we can see Michael B. Jordan again. He was he was the, he was uh, the, the, human, the torch. human torch. So that is true. It's like, uh, yeah, man, we did see you did play Killmonger. Yeah. You know, we did see you there. But now we see you here. I think they this isn't fully thought through. They're just kind of rolling with it as it go. I just I think the best thing this year so far, obviously, is Black Panther. True. I don't. Do you think Black Panther is setting up Infinity War to do the same numbers? Um, I'm going to tell you, I think, honestly, I think Infinity War will do slightly better than Black Panther. 
Um, so yes, it is setting it up in a good way because this is going to be a hell of a follow up because this is the the last movie before Infinity War, right? There's no Guardians of the Galaxy. There's no Iron Man. Yeah. There's no nothing. Uh-huh. It's it's from this straight to that. Um, yeah. Timeline wise. Um, I'm gonna tell you why I disagree with you. Mm. And uh, I disagree. I disagree with that. And I only asked that question because it's it's a it was a good question when I mm-hmm. thought of it. I don't think Infinity War would do Black Panther's numbers because Infinity War or Black Panther said more. Mm. It wasn't just about the Marvel Universe at that time. And we won't get into the political point on it, but it said more. It was more people. We got people to watch, come and watch a Marvel movie. That would have never ever watched a Marvel movie in their my life. Mom, my mom went. My wife. My wife don't. My wife going to argue with me. I like Marvel. I like Spider Man. No, you don't. Yeah, like go sit down. Yeah, I seen the hey. last one. We went to the last one. Hey, no. And, and on that note alone, being able to bring in the masses the way it did, but on the flip side, because of some of the political stuff and because of the, we'll just leave it at the political stuff. That's that's another reason why I think Infinity War is going to do so well because you got to think about how many people. In it, um, inadvertently boycotted Black Panther, whether it was because they just felt there was too much hype, and they didn't, mm-hmm. you know, you know, how some people are like I do that with video games. If it catches way too much hype, I, I kind of sit back. Like if I don't catch it at the beginning, I get nervous yeah. because I'm like, uh, yeah. maybe everybody's just riding coattails of each other, mm-hmm. <laughs> like because of one good and that, review. And that, and that, and that happens. And yeah. That happens. Yeah. And you're absolutely right. I just don't think, I don't think it won't. I don't think because. How many times? Let me ask you a question. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. I think you only seen Black Panther once. But if you had the time, how many times would you have seen Black Panther? Oh, I'd go back and see it right now. All right, cool. How many times could you say you would go back and watch a Marvel uh, a Avengers movie after watching it the first time? When exactly. I catch it on TV, I know. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You and it, and, e, and, I know people that seen Black Panther four times. Yeah, people who don't times and seen it, but people who don't even watch those um, Marvel movies and it, it's a, it's a trip. And, um, and another thing though, um, you're right. I would actually be shocked. Like I, I like that 2 billion number. 2 billion mm-hmm. is a solid number, but the reason why I think it's going to be higher is because we're not even out of the second week yeah. and it's already yeah. cracked seven and it hasn't even hit China. People need to realize China. What is What do they have? The biggest population? Like, and then it hasn't hit Japan, and it. Yeah. You. I mean, that's all you need to know. Yeah. And, and I'm I, I I won't be surprised if it got to three billion. Uh huh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I won't be surprised. I picked two billion because I thought two billion is where it would sit. Yeah. You that's know, a good solid reasonable where number. It would, where it would sit when, you know, when there's when the dust cleared. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, I just don't think. I don't think any one of these Marvel movies that's coming out after it will do the same numbers because of what Black Panther did. You know, mm. Black Panther came through and it was a stampede. And then everything after that, you you either got to... And I don't expect them to say the same things. You know no. what I'm saying? I don't expect them to, get, to go that same route. But I do expect them to be good movies. I am going to spend my money to go watch them. Oh, hell yeah. Best believe. Facts. I, I, I will be watching them. And um, I will Facts. be putting the time into, you know, understanding because I love Marvel. I just love Marvel like that. So I, I will be spending the money to go watch them. Well, do I think they're going to do Black Panther numbers? No. And uh, like I said, I, I just don't think they're they're not built to say the same thing. We, we're, we're getting a new villain. We're getting a yeah. new villain that we, we've only seen bits and pieces of in different movies here and there. Heard his name. So now we get to see him in action see him with the gauntlet, you know, and then the one, see, and this is another thing too. And, uh, it, I wish there was more on the soul stone because that mm. part, is it the soul stone? The one that's in, uh, the one that's in, uh, in rumored uh, that Wakanda has. Uh, so it's only rumored. We didn't really see anything in the movie. Let me talk about the movie, not the post credits yeah, yeah, and yeah. things like that. Um, in the movie, they didn't really speak on it that much, or I missed it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think I was paying good enough attention to not miss it. True. And I, that was something I was waiting to hear. But you know, I, I'm, I'm 
after thinking about it, I'm excited that they kept that on the wraps because now we get to now we get to go back to Wakanda. And we already we seen in the see trailers it. that they that a, it looks like a large portion of the movie is going to be in Wakanda. Like there's yeah, major battles, if, all of that. If not, if not the a large portion, a major ass battle like yeah. some some clash, mm-hmm. you know, stampede clash into each other stuff is about to happen. And I'm I'll I'll be excited if that's all I got. I'm actually looking that, looking forward part. to the vibranium covered rhinos again. Uh, that was actually really cool. You're uh, a weirdo, man. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. When I seen that, my jaw dropped, and I I probably spoke very loudly in the theater. I was like, oh shit, uh, they got vibranium covered rhinos, and they ride them. Like they ride them. <laughs> I, I just out of like. And see, and then in my head, I'm like, man, let's take it a step further. Like, I want, like, giraffes with vibranium shin guards <laughs> running through me. <laughs> like, you got to think of all the possibilities. <laughs> I, want a, I want a giraffe with vibranium shin guards. Like, <laughs> Imagine being kicked by one of them. That's, that's what I'm saying. Release the giraffes. <laughs> No, that would actually be epic. That would be dope. <laughs> uh, bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. That would be super. Su- I'm telling you. Can you imagine? Can you imagine, man? No, I could not. I could not. Instead could, of riding horses, they ride in zebras <laughs> with, with vibranium <laughs> with vibranium plated armor. Like, bruh. That would. See, people are not dreaming big enough, man. We're not dreaming big <laughs> enough, people. Yo, 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 we're not. We're not dream. <laughs> no, the giraffe's head is in the clouds. We're not dreaming big enough. We Let me t- uh, that. That would be. I think I would have more enjoy. I would have. <laughs> that's like a deleted scene. Like that. Need to- <laughs> oh well. Speaking on that, you know, there's a four hour cut of the movie, and I'm hoping they put it on the Blu-ray special edition. Of course they will. There's you a, know they will. They there, have to. There's a four they hour cut, and I would have watched. Every last bit of it. They never, you never, you never get the full movie when a movie comes out. Especially but a, a movie four like that. hour cut? You mean Man, to tell me I'm they made cool Black, Panther two, pa- Black Panther 2? Is that what you, basically? Because it was only two what if hours. It ruins, what, if it, what, if it's, what if it's not as good as you expected it to be? So? <laughs> I don't want to be ruined. I don't want to be ruined. Well, and it, can't wanna, be, I, it, it, it can't be ruined. We already seen the original, the final cut. Yeah, you see the final cut, and then it'd be like, why didn't y'all put that in there? Or yep. that was trash. That's two different things. That's two different arguments right there people would make. Me, me on the other hand, it's already done what it's done. I'm, I'm a fan of it because of it being so good. And, uh, and I mean, rolling back to the album. The oh, album yeah. was the even better. Album. Yeah, the whole point <laughs> so, of all it is, we talking about the movie like we didn't talk about it last week. My bad, folks. Yeah. Um, but oh, let us. I don't know. think they mind too. They probably still talking about it as well, bro. Let me tell you how Everybody real it is. There's a there's a group I'm part of. This Black Nerds group. They actually made us post up talking about, hey guys. So we're gonna create a sub forum for all the Black Panther stuff because it's <laughs> taking over everything. And they were like, this is about Black Nerdum, not Black Panther. And I was, uh-huh. I got, I took, it, I got kind of mad because we normally only see Dragon Ball Z stuff all day. Like, mm-hmm. literally everything's Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z, up until Black Panther came out. But back, but Dragon Ball Z doesn't stop. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they, I'm somebody not, was see, arguing. Somebody, see, no, listen, somebody no. was arguing. Somebody argued. Somebody was like, yo, because, you know, Dragon Ball Super is about to end. He goes, oh, yeah, it feels like it just started. It was three years. Like, oh, no, it's been going for three years. <laughs> yeah, like. Mind blown. Yeah, like, what planet are you on, bro? Exactly, man. <sighs> but I mean, it is what it that is. And is... then I I'm I'm digging it, man. I'm I'm cool with with the way Black Panther turned out. I can't wait for Infinity War. I can't wait for Deadpool. I think that not Deadpool should be good. Um I'm so De- excited for Deadpool. You are see Deadpool should be good. They bring in cable. Cable's awesome. I used to play with Cable on the Street Fighter game. Uh huh. Oh, what was it? What man, was it? Uh, Marvel Super? No, he wasn't uh, on Marvel. He was on Street Fighter. Uh, he was on Capcom versus uh, Capcom versus Marvel, wasn't he? The first one or the see. second? 
I remember using the hell out of cable. Or am I thinking of the dude? It was, the dude with the. I'm thinking of Red Alert. I, I think it was uh, the guy with the red uh, with the the cables coming out of his arms. But no, cable was dope too. Hey, those yeah, old was, those old uh, those old X Men games were badass, man. Yeah, they had they had one on the PSP that mm. I had. And no, I know what like you're talking before. about. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. What was that? Um, it wasn't Legends. What was it called? Was it Legends? Marvel Legends? I don't know. That was dope, was though. And you got to rank up know. your characters. And uh, yes. yeah, I remember and that. used to run like this. Uh, it used to be funny because he used to just run like this. And it just always looked like he doing this until you start fighting. Then he actually started moving. But w- <laughs> what's crazy is people don't even realize that I think comic book, like actual comic book, stats of uh wolverine i want to say he's like five one five two like he's a little he's a little dude yeah he's a little stocky dude running around fighting everybody with a cigar in his mouth talking about berserker barrage (laughs) (laughs) hey you sound just like berserker barrage hey man i used to love that damn game and you know me i'm not into fighters i've never really been into fighting games unless it was like a a smash brothers or power stone and first off power stone classic and speaking on classic games that need to make a comeback we'll talk about that right now in a second um power stone what else was a dope fighting game uh i consider the warriors a fighting game even though it really was more of a open world I never played that game. I never played that. I watched the movie a thousand times, and I've never played the Warriors game. Let me let me say this. And it was on PSP. And le- yes, it was. They released it three times, and then it's. I want to say it's backwards compatible too. Right now, mm-hmm. um, I can say without. I'm gonna say this. I think that was Ro- one of Rockstar's best games. Really. I would put that up Damn, there. That's a bold ass. I would put it up there with San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto Five. I would put it up there right now. And if they added, if they re-released Did it, you in, think San Andreas was better than Vice City? Yeah. Duh. And let me tell you why. Because I've seen Scarface enough to where I didn't care for to play it. <laughs> but nobody cared about. Okay, oh, if that, well, you know, I was gonna get it to some stuff, but I, I don't want to take it there with you today. <laughs> no, no, no. I think Vi- no. In my opinion, I think Vice City was better than San Andreas. No, first, I think, I think Vice City was better than San Andreas. Come on, CJ. Okay, so <laughs> what else? What else were we missing? We're missing Bully. Bully was a rock star game. Oh, Bully was dope. I think let bullies? me let me tell you this. I would say I if I would hmm, is it better than Bully? I would play more Warriors than I would Bully. Facts. Okay. Because well, Bully, kind of weirdo because, anyway, so. because Bully is a schoolyard version of Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. So, in my opinion, it's like a reskin. Even though it's not, that's disrespectful to the game Bully by me calling it a reskin. That's being real cheap because the game was freaking classic and it was hilarious and it had funny moments and the bullies and that like you fighting the real bullies and you fighting the crazy teachers and the campus security uh, sneaking out. That game has so many mechanics to it. And that's yeah. what I that's why I like San Andreas so much because of the mechanics, the gang system, the territories. The un- the units you get to build up to hang with you, your rep, you having to ride the bike to but see, I'm a RPG head. If a game yeah. has RPG aspects, I'ma pick it over the one that doesn't. Because mm-hmm. for me, that's just way more fun. If I didn't go eat, I would lose my muscle mass. If I ate too much, I'd get fat. Man, if I didn't and I'm... Okay, so now story wise, which one had the best story? Well, this I w- is still between Vice San- City and, and San Andreas. San Andreas. I'm gonna tell you San Andreas for the simple fact that Man. Vice City was just was Scarface. Yeah, but it was dope. It was it Scarface. Was I'm not. I'm not. Cool. Look, look. Who look, cares? Let you me got t- to play it instead of watching look, it. Let me tell you. I'm not. I'm not disrespecting it because it was Scarface. But no, I, for I me, 
I'm saying that if I had to pick which one I liked more, I'm 100% say San Andreas because it felt like a fresh story. CJ. <laughs> he was. How dare you? Bruh. How dare if, you? If, Vice and, City was. And then ending with Vice the LA riots? Come on, man. Vice City was was dope. Or, yeah, Vice City to me was was my fa- my my favorite Grand Theft Auto of all time is still three. It's three. still Grand Theft Auto. Hey, bro. okay, three was. You know what's funny? Three. Gameplay wise. Outside of like mechanics, like what I truly enjoyed playing, and I used to just pick it up and turn it on and go, was Grand Theft Auto Four. The one people don't really talk about. Oh uh, yeah, four four was good. Four, four was good. four had the most realistic physics. Remember when you would shoot somebody in their leg and they'd like buckle and they start dragging yeah, and, their foot. Yeah, and yeah. They would. Four was four was good. Four was was really good, and I did like four. Um, I think. Because that was the introduction of uh, multiplayer. Uh, was on four. Oh yeah, it was. That's what ruined it. That was that's what ruined it because it wasn't that good. The multiplayer shit wasn't that good. So that's what kind of ruined it. I beat the story on four, and I left it alone. Never touched it. I, I matter of fact, I ended up beating it and then bringing it back to GameStop after I beat it and turned it in and got a different game. Mm. And then for me, you know what I got. Um, which what brought me back to it was the Lost series where you got to play as the biker gang and you'd be rolling around with your crew. Oh, yeah. And you right. would, yeah, 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 and you would call in for weapons and like the weapon car would pull up and you open it up, grab what you needed. Mm-hmm. Man, that game was raw, but still, it's cool. But still, the Warriors, hands down, Rockstar, some of Rockstar's best work. You would be yeah. running. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what would happen. So in your HUD, your HUD is your neighborhood. Like that's that's it's just. And all of a sudden, you'll get an alert. So and so gang is running into your spot. So you'd mm-hmm. run out and you would see a group of them, and you would just run up and throw a haymaker. Bow, just cracking. And somebody will be on the floor, and your homeboy will be grounding, grounding, pounding, just beating the snot out of them. And then another dude would walk up and hit him over the head with a bottle, and he'd fall off. And then your dude would get up, and you would get uh, somebody would scoop you up, slam you on the street. It was, just, and it, bro, it was mayhem. It was utter mayhem. And then it fit. It expanded the story of the movie. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. It, it did. It it didn't add extra to the ending. It just expanded mm-hmm. from the beginning. So it gave you a whole bigger, deeper intro into the world. And then it expanded each moment in the movie. So anytime you saw yeah. a gang, they interacted with a gang in a movie, that was like a good 30 minutes to an hour, if not more, in the game. That'd be like an arc. Like you running from the baseball furies, you ended up fighting their boss, and you ended up running into them more often. Like it was, oh my gosh, bro. Yeah. That game I, I was get it, I, I think if I get it, if I get it, I'm going to play it. I'm going to probably do like a, like a let's play, like throwback. Ooh, that actually does sound like a pretty dope series. But speaking yeah. on speaking on classic games, I know I just hyped the hell up of um, the Warriors, but for me, there's um, like this is a question I wanted to raise. For what classic game do you wish they would either remake or add a um, or make a number two or a sequel to it? Okay. All right. Um, I uh, it's it's hard for me. I, it's hard for me because I'm not really into remakes. Well, then avoid the remake. Story. Yeah, uh, sequel. And, and but um, sequels. I don't know, man. All right, let me. I'll open it I'm up. I'll tell then. you what. Okay, Go ahead. Yeah, you open. It okay. Because it's hard for me to pick. Because my favorite games are they already have. They've gone on and on. <laughs> okay, and well, and folks in the comments, man, let us know your favorite game that you wish they'd make a sequel to or bring back or even a movie. But let's keep it. I'm gonna keep it the video game. So for me, a video game right now, and it, it's no like maybe five percent of the people who will see this will know what I'm talking about. It's called Orger Battles sixty four Atlas. I hope you're watching. Atlas Incorporated, these dudes make made this classic game that I still have sitting in my Nintendo 64. It does not come out. That is the only reason my Nintendo 64 gets played outside of GoldenEye and Smash Bros. It 
is a classic RPG where you're building up this army, you're ranking up your dudes, you're going around taking over lands, conquering castles. It's an amazing classic in Atlas. You need to stop playing. I will not stop tweeting you guys at least once or twice a week until you bring back this game. Please. <laughs> they keep coming out with all these other Game Boy games, Symphony of Basaria, and da 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 da. Nobody, nobody want that. We want Ogre Battles. Give my man his game, son. Ogre Battles. Give my man. <laughs> and then, and then, what's so dope is. I don't know the backstory or how it came about or which one came first, but every game is named after a Queen album or song. Like, there's March of the Black Queen. You got Orger Battles itself. Like, and Queen is dope. But mm-hmm. that is what I just had to say that, and I'm hoping Atlas sees this. Man, and it's not like you've been thinking on that one for a minute, man. You bro, big breath. <laughs> bro, no no lie, I tweet Atlas at least twice a week. I was gonna do a campaign where every day they would get a Twitter uh they get a tweet from me or a personal message like I thought I told you that we don't stop. Um I told you that. We'll Yeah, stop. every time they put out a new game, I'll be like, Oh, this looks amazing. I wonder if you would just put this work into Ogre Battles. <laughs> and um <laughs> Somebody up there cussing you out, man. Oh, somebody they gonna hear me. They gonna know what's up. Man, I I take this very serious, but now I can see, yeah, <sighs> but yeah, with me, man. Um, see, my my all time favorite game, and we're just gonna. I'm not gonna go into multiplayer's <clears throat> because obviously I was see if I would have if you would have asked me this like a few months ago, it would have been SOCOM, like okay, remake SOCOM, remake SOCOM Confrontation or remake SOCOM Two. Put them back on the systems. Give us the game that we had when PlayStation 3 came out on PlayStation 4 and make it better. Make it in and even you can even market SOCOM as a competitive esport. Like that you really is true. can. So I was telling, like, I I just I would always say to myself, like, man, I, I don't know. I, you don't understand how much I miss SOCOM. Like I missed that game. Mm. And then I found out that a developer and I found out this a couple months ago, heard about it a couple years ago, but a couple months ago, a game named H hour took the playbook right from uh SOCOM and they're creating that game. And it's called H hour. It's on steam for early as- access right now. And um, I haven't had the time to get into it because I haven't had my setup right. I don't have my gaming keyboard set up. I don't have my mouse set up. But I want to get into that back into that game. That game was my favorite game of all time. Now, the reason why I didn't really want to get into multiplayer is because there's so many different multiplayers out. There's so many different waves. We're in the Battle Royale wave right now. Um, How long do you think it's going to last? The Battle Royale wave? People, I, I don't know. I'm going to tell you why I don't know, because Fortnite is doing it right. Mm. Fortnite gave you a free game that mm-hmm. you can play basic, and then they gave you, they're giving you seasons. Mm-hmm. So different, you buy into each season, you get like the stuff, you do the challenges, you get more stuff. And But though I recommend people, if you're going to get into Fortnite, if you're not playing at least eight hours a day, do not buy the seasons, because you're, you're going to pay for something that you can't complete. <clears throat> because the seasons they have an end they end once they end that's it it's not like you can't go like it's gear and stuff that i've seen old people that people have that they got from previous seasons that i can't get anymore so it's like and i, I can't get as of right now let me say that so it so creates it gonna, creates that tier system like oh i can tell they're the yeah. real like oh they got the headband yeah. from season one like, exactly okay so but but you can it, that doesn't really do anything. It's all cosmetics and how you look type deal, and um, it's free. And they're updating. They're adding. They add. They just added a hand cannon into the game. Mm. Um, they they just added a uh, the Chinese dragon. Oh, because it, it's thing Chinese New Year's a, mm. as a glider. Um, yeah, they're they're epic. Is actually happy Chinese, time happy spent. Chinese New Year's, everybody. I know happy I missed Chinese it. New yeah. Year's. And uh, damn, I got a scratch. I got a boot. I got an owie. <laughs> That's but, how you um, know we got kids. <laughs> yeah, I got a, I got a daughter. She just she'll be she'll be excited to clean this and put a bandaid on it. <laughs> um, but 
yeah, I would have wished, or Epic Games is doing their things with the Battle Royale. But multiplayer games are all over the place. They got yeah. the Call of Duty first person. They got CSGO. They got PUBG, mm-hmm. you know, shoot. You know, uh, what's the name just started up there? Uh, what is it? Um, Rainbow Six. Has oh, yeah. Uh, and that's doing well. People are buying, getting their teams. PUBG has esports to it. H1Z1 Fortnite. has a season. They just started. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but for a actual like story mode game, like a game that I enjoyed, it, it, it Metal Gear Solid mm. was it is to my to this day my favorite game. Now, if I had to choose one game they should do like a like a like a, a prequel to it, it would have to be Snake Eater. Or not Ooh. a prequel, uh 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 a sequel to it, it would be Snake Eater, but I want it right after the fact. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, because there is a lot of time. I want to say Snake Eater leads right into the original Metal Gear, doesn't it? Yeah, because Snake Eater is first. Snake Eater is Snake e- is Metal Gear Solid 3, mm-hmm. but it's... Timeline-wise, it was the first. Or everything else, so... It was when Big um, Boss was a kid, was young, yeah. Snake Eater was the shit. I love Snake Eater. That game, my, it's not my favorite, but Snake Eater was dope. Um, and then, see, we got Metal Gear Solid Four. I don't count the other Metal Gear Solids, these Patriot, the 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 new shit that just came out. Them shits is damn near Grant that follow just the Phantom you, you Pain. guys crouching and he's sneaking. Yeah, I ain't trying to. Yeah. The the Metal Gear Solid Survive, I actually want to get into. That looks pretty dope. Now, how do you feel about that? Because of the way everything went down with Kojima. Uh, I mean, it. See, now you're asking me a, the business part of it. Uh, the business okay. part of it is is going to be the business. I'm not, and it, it's hard for me to to give my input on it. Just for example, I had somebody ask me about Michael Condry from uh, Sledgehammer. Him and Glenn Schofield, I believe his name. That's his name. They created Sledgehammer Games, and then they up and leave Sledgehammer Games to go to the big company Activision to get bigger jobs and stuff. Yeah. 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 Now that's the people. Some people love Michael Condry. Some people hated him uh, because Michael Condry is kind of a weird guy. Like he, he's always looking for a laugh. That's what he comes off as. Okay. So he's always trying to say a joke and most of them, they come out cheesy and corny, but either way he started this company and then, you know, they get picked up. They jump into the rotation of creating uh, call of duty and now they're up and gone. So with business questions like that, you got to, for you to give your input, you have to know more. You can give your input off of what you know now. True. But nine times out of ten, you're, you don't, you only seen the tip of the iceberg. You ain't seen Very true. what was going on. You don't know what they were offered. You don't know what happened. What did he do? Was he a detriment? Was he screwed? You don't know. You don't know that. So as a fan of him, though, you know, I would. I, I hate to see him go. I hate how everything turned out. Sure. But I'm a Metal Gear Solid fan before I'm a Hideo fan. Co- yeah, I got you. No, I got you. Um, I'm actually shocked that they did that, even though they did announce it not too long after Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain came out. They really did. Yeah. They announced it pretty quick. And the game actually takes place right at the beginning. Like It's like running alongside, um, timeline-wise, it's running alongside The Phantom Pain. Because this okay. all uh, they had, during the announcement trailer, at, I want to say it was E three or something like that. They showed that basically the beginning of Phantom Pain is also the dead beginning of Survive, like when everything okay. when everybody's being abducted into the uh, loops and everything, and um, Outer Heaven was getting destroyed or whatever. But um, yeah. but um, I get you though. We we love the games, but. Um, what what's the reason why I said what I said was because of what we've seen with Destiny, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, and that's why I asked that question because we do know yeah. what one writer, one creator, one publisher, man, it can cripple a game. Yeah. Now jumping over to another game because it is a big anniversary coming up. It's yeah, dude, man, right, yeah. Yeah, right, right, <laughs> man. Okay, so. <laughs> The reason I'm so excited is Pokemon Day is coming up. Pokemon, Pokemon Day. Day 2018. What is it going to be? 23, 22? 
Tomorrow will be the 22nd ever anniversary of Pokemon Day. Yes. Okay. So 27. Pokemon. Or actually today, because this video is coming out the 27th. Yeah. So today is yeah. Pokemon. Happy Pokemon. Happy Day. Pokemon Day, <laughs> people. Go out. Yeah. Go catch some Pokemon on your phone. Go pull out, dust off your old Game Boy. Go pop in uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, hey, Crystal, yeah. Pokemon, Silver, Gold, sat Leafy Pokemon, Green. Pokemon for me, man, it has a like a special spot in my heart. And it's because that game and any one of them. True. Like, I mean, any one of them up until like Moon. Ruby I hated Moon. Sapphire. I didn't play those. I didn't I didn't play those. Damn. Actually, I don't even own a DS now. I sold my DS. Um, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, we won't go any further than that. Okay. But so up to Sapphire and Ruby, uh, those you know, any one of them. I, I played, mastered, caught them all. Now, <clears throat> with with the reason why Pokemon is so special to me, because and you and you can you'll understand when I start talking about it. I played Pokemon so much. Um, the first Pokemon I ever got was the uh, Pokemon Yellow. Okay. That was the first one that I own. My mom ended up buying me the Yellow and Blue Pikachu version Poke Game Boy. And uh, uh, a little Pikachu at the bottom. And my sister, I didn't know what the hell I was doing when I first got the game. I didn't know what I'm supposed to do. I, I ended up, I, it took me so long to get used to that game. I didn't even use, know how to use HMs. <laughs> I I completed, I now, you, and some people won't believe me. I completed the, uh, the, the, the Dark Cave. Oh yeah, with no with without flash. Ooh, I beat that without Ooh. multiple times. You see what I said, and, and that's how it was for me. My sister mm. taught me how to play it, and then I, I became more familiar with it. And uh, I I just love the game from jump. Like I I remember, you know, putting your your the thing in daycare yep. and then strapping a rubber band with some paper on the button and, and you just walk it the... uh-huh <laughs> yeah so oh uh, bro I mean, bro go ahead what about when we when i just found out that you could cut the grass in the originals yeah that was crazy bro i, I got so mad i Man, got have you tried so it no because i don't want to make myself mad about how many hours of me dodging and running from raditas Cause I got tired of fighting them over and over well, and over, and pidgeys and sent and and weedles. You you just got done out of a match, and you ain't got no poke your Pokemon. There's no help. You ain't got no potions, and, <laughs> and, and you, you didn't try to make it. <laughs> you didn't save it. You, you got your ass handed to you. Um, those were the another. Before I finish my story, another heartbreak. I just watched. I watched a guy who was trying to catch a shiny Rayquaza, right? Ooh. He was trying to catch a shiny Rayquaza, and he spent about four days Ooh. with 1,500, over 1,500 soft resets. And he try, he went into this game trying to catch Ooh. this Rayquaza with a, he had like 200 something dusk balls. And he's, he, he finally <laughs> runs into the shiny Rayquaza. And uh, he has like a level 80 uh, Zapdos. And <laughs> so he's he's fighting the Rayquaza. The Rayquaza's hitting him. And uh, he's hitting, or he didn't even hit the Rayquaza. He didn't touch the Rayquaza at all. He just kept throwing dusk balls at it. And the dust, and after like a cool 20 something minutes, the Rayquaza used all of its moves. It used all of sleep, all of uh, extreme speed. It used all of them damn moves. And it ended up struggling to death. <laughs> I was so heartbroken when I seen that video. I, I felt it for him, man. I really did. And I and now I understand gamer rage. I really do. Because I'd have been mad. I, that's some shit to make me not want to play ever. Bro, I would have quit for a very long time. And and it's and that's actually funny because it, it's cool that you mentioned shinies. Now, for those who don't know, shiny Pokemon came out on uh, during Pokemon Gold and Silver, and they were mm -hmm. basically a special edition of the in game. And this is all in game. 
This isn't like a Pokemon right. card. This isn't a toy. It's just an in-game shiny version of that Pokemon. Yeah. And people actually don't they sell their accounts? Are they? Um, yeah. yeah, with all the shinies and whatnot. They people used to, people used to sell them, but now pe- what people do is they'll sell the Pokemon to you. Yeah, they can just trade. Yep, they'll sell you the Pokemon. So. Yeah, that that was tough, man. Oh my god! Or the Pokemon breeding? A, no, I've never caught a shiny. Never caught a never shiny. Caught a sh- I caught a shiny Ditto. What? I caught a shiny Ditto. That's actually pretty dope. Yeah, this was, this was me and my cousin Oscar. We used to play all the time, like all, I remember the cable and everything. And uh, I caught a shiny Ditto. And uh, we used to battle each other. And he, he knew the game better than me. He knew, like, the stats and stuff. That's why it ruined it for me, because I didn't know none of the stats okay. and none of the shit. And then when I watch these professional Pokemon players Bro, play down today. A tournament just difficult. happened. A tournament just happened. They keep notebooks after each move. And they go and they recheck their stats. And they adjust it in their handbook. And they'll go yeah. after each move. I watch it. It looked like chess. People, I promise you, it looked like a chess match. These dudes, they made a move, somebody attacked, and everybody went down to their journals. And you see them writing. And then all of a sudden, they reevaluated and made one more move. Like, it was like slow back and forth. They, t- man. Yeah. It, it's, it's crazy. My, well, now, what I'll, long story short, with the story I had started with, <clears throat> when I was in high school, I ended up getting hurt in a football game. And uh, my Baron can attest to this. I was bedridden for about three months. Yeah, that was uh, crazy. Not being able to get up out of bed and anything. I had uh, messed my knee up real bad. I won't go into the details. But what I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say what got me to those three months <clears throat> was, uh, I, which one was that? Around that time, it would have probably it been was, Pokemon Ruby. It was, yeah, it was Ruby. Yeah, it would have had to been Ruby. Yeah, it was and, Ruby because I had a board on. Yeah. So it was it was Ruby. Ruby got me through those. My bad, Sapphire. There. Yeah. There's Sapphire, Ruby, oh. and Emerald. Yeah. But there, yeah, there is an Emerald. But Ruby got me through those three months, and I remember, I remember like catching Pokemon and leveling them up to a hundred, and then getting my Game Boy SP and <laughs> getting. getting <laughs> Uh, the, the getting paper tissue and putting it on there and taping the up button and getting you know leveling my Pokemon up in the daycare and and, and it it was the it was the best like personal time I had to myself for three months all I did was play Pokemon that's it I didn't do schoolwork <laughs> I, <laughs> I remember didn't do none of that. and that's all I used to play so um man pokemon for forever have like a like a special thing like i, I have cards and stuff now uh-huh. i can the cards and stuff and i can't wait like even my daughter playing pokemon go with her is dope and oh, me showing her man. and getting all technical with it so yeah pokemon will forever have like that little spot in my heart dude same i love you pokemon right. what, what? what is i'm about to cry what you want? <laughs> Okay. What is your uh your favorite loadout? Your 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 favorite six? Okay. Ooh. It for me, it I always like to have a sidekick type with sleep. Uh with uh not sleep, but uh with um what was it called? Hypnotize. Or hypnosis. Okay. Hypnosis. And then I always like to have a steel type once steel types came into play, because they came into play after Pokemon Silver and Gold. Um yeah. I would I got to a point. I, okay, it used to be which one looked cooler when I was younger. I was yeah, like, oh, that was me. That, but then I go look at my Pokemon setup recently because I I played the most recent one. I don't mm-hmm. have none of the Pokemon that my younger self would have used, but their stats and their abilities fit within my playstyle. Like I got a, this. Is a, it it got so bad that I almost like out out. Uh, strategized myself like i strategically ruined the game for me because i'll go through breezing through it so i keep my uh i keep my pokemon that puts them to sleep so as soon as they pop up i haven't put them to sleep and then i catch them (laughs) 
<laughs> and so fight them, dang. No, because it's all strategy. It's like why do I? And then <laughs> and then I have the exp share on. So one Pokemon fights and then the rest. Like I've they ruined it. it. I've ruined it for myself. No, dog, you, you don't understand what we used to do back in the day. Back in the day, <clears throat> when my when my cousin got that chat link, we used to uh, <laughs> we used to um, start the game up. Pick a Pokemon we didn't have, and then run through the first part, then trade it, then start it over again. And then once we got our six, then we would start up a new game. Get the the this like we we did that for all the Pokemon we couldn't catch. So like mm. I had yellow, I couldn't catch a Weedle on mine. So yeah, you could only get the I centipede, only catapede, yeah, catapede. So, my bad. I, I would always, so, hey, you got red, hey, start it up, catch me a Caterpie, or when you go get the fossil, hey, you know, hatch it or, or get it, and then give it to me, um, and then what else we used to do? Oh, XP share, we would start the game, get XP share, trade it, start that one over, get it again, tra- man, we did, it was so crazy, it was crazy the things we used to do back in the day, but my, actually... My favorite six Pokemon, and this is still based on looks. I don't care what nobody say uh, up until this day, is uh, I got to have Butterfree. That's always with confusion and sleep powder, bruh. Yeah. Butterfree, Butterfree was my, was my, was like my, fir- the first Pokemon I had to evolve. Because uh, Butterfree, I think you, you evolve Butterfree at like level 25. 10, I, I, wanted, I thought it was 25, wasn't it? Oh, no, because. Remember you evolve, you evolve your uh your Caterpie at to hard or to uh what was it called? A harden? No, what was no, the the move it had was harden. That was the only move it had. Metapod. Yeah, remember harden was the only yeah. move harden, it had. Harden was the only move, yeah. Um <laughs> Metapod. So yeah, you get your Metapod and then you had to evolve because this is what this was my setup too. Eh? Them old school ones, you would catch a but uh, you catch a Caterpie, level that shit up in the forest, uh-huh. let it evolve into a Caterpie, then go fight Brock. Yes. And beat his ass and with the Caterpie. No, because so remember on Pokemon Butterfree. Yellow, because your first Pokemon was Pikachu, you didn't yeah. have nothing else. So if you went and fought it. Brock right away, you would get smashed he because he had Rock type. Man, it was so bad. I had to, uh, I remember that the struggle was so real to get past Brock he's going, and then Misty he's going here with, with, with seven uh Pidgeys and get yeah, that. and then Misty was hard too because once again, you got um, uh, well, no, you could electrocute it. Was Misty was easy with with yeah, yellow. yeah, Misty I forgot was what the hard when you pick. If you pick Charmander to begin it, which everybody did, I did. You pretty much get your ass handed to you. Um, Because there was no, what electric type Pokemon was you about to catch before you got to the second city? Yeah, what was it um, with Lieutenant Surge? Like, you couldn't even, wow, I can't believe I remember all this. (laughs) That's how much time we put into the game. (laughs) Remember Um, how big Lieutenant Surge was in the the anime, bro? Man, he was Dude, dope. it was he like was eight feet tall, just like beating up on Ash. <laughs> gonna evolve him. Yeah, yeah. Like if you don't leave Pikachu that's alone. The first, that's the first villain where I got. It. I was like, shit, I would have evolved my shit. <laughs> like, um. <laughs> but, but then as I got older, you under you 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 realize that if you re- evolve it earlier, any Pokemon you evolve early with the stone, they lose out on attributes. And that, and those abil- uh, uh, attacks. And certain abilities they lose. Uh-huh. No, if you evolve them later, like later down into their levels, it's certain attacks you miss. If you evolve them too early, it's certain attributes that you miss. So it was kind of... Let us, let, a, let us know in the I, comments. I have all the, I have let all us the know EVs. in the comments. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> I have all the EVs. You let know, us know Flareon, in the comments. I don't know flame, uh, Flamethrower. How the hell my Flareon don't know Flamethrower? Why can't I learn Flamethrower? I got to go buy the Cause TM you, Fire cause you, Blast. Because you had a, a level 50 EV being greedy. Couldn't Ex- just... Exactly. Exactly, because I I love the way not even not even flare not even flare yet because my favorite move with the electric type was thunderbolt, which I'm, that was like the best one. And then uh, you get your uh, what's what's the uh, I can't remember the electric Va- type. Oh, um, oh, it was Vaporeon, Flareon, and 
Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot the name. Yeah, I can't I can't remember. I'm looking it up now as we speak. What? Shame on me. Somebody in the comments, please name all the evolutions of Eevee, because there's like nine of them, I think ten. Because they got a dark type. Um I think the only one they don't have is like a Jolteon. steel type. Jolteon. Jolteon. There you go. Jolteon. I always hated Jolteon. Jolteon. Was my... You I, hated Jolteon? I, I always wanted a Flareon or Vaporeon, actually. No, Even in that. Pokemon Go, uh, Vaporeon is much stronger. <laughs> really? Yep. I don't know. I wanted to snore like so bad in Pokemon Go, but I didn't go enough to I, get the Pokemon. <laughs> I, mean, dude, I stopped playing after a while. Oh, I, stopped yeah. after. I used to get off work and drive around. Bro. My wife would call me, where you at? Oh, I'm, I'm, I left um, work. Early. Yeah, I had I'm to go. Way. I got to go collect Pokeball. I used to go walk. <laughs> around the shopping center because it had a bunch of markers i would get up early in the morning this is before the kid uh this is like around when Kristen was first born so i got up uh-huh. like extra early and i would just walk around the shopping center collecting pokeballs getting my steps in like that was probably the best shape i was ever in it was during the beginning of Poke- because because pokemon play, 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 go play, came play. out um literally a day the day i want to say the day Kristen was born my first uh, daughter was born Okay. I want to say either that fir- that day or that week, like yeah. it came out, and I sure would just be out and about, like out there catching Pokemon, bro. Yeah, but I mean, back to my six, my favorite six. So Butterfree, um, uh, Scizor, Scizor was my Ooh. one of my favorites. Uh, obviously, my all time favorite is Charizard. Um, so Scizor. Um, Butterfree, Charizard. Um, I like to rock a uh, a Raichu. Raichu was cool. I like mm. I like Raichu. So this is not only my favorite, but the six that I like to carry with me: um, uh, Alakazam and a oh. Hunter. Ooh, that that was my six. Okay, that was my six right there. See me. It yeah. was um, Graveler, the final evolved form of Geo uh, Geo Dude. Golem. Yeah. Golem. No, yeah, Golem, my bad. Graveler was the middle one. Didn't you didn't yeah. you have to trade um You had to trade them. That's why trade them. that's why I look, because I didn't have nobody to trade with. So I had <laughs> so I had a Graveler. Um yeah. and then so there was Graveler, uh Butterfree, of course. And then mm-hmm. I like Diglet or Dig Trio for the yeah, magnitude. Cool. For the magnitude. Remember that move? Yeah, magnitude oh. was cool, and then it'll give you like a number eight, mm-hmm. and you would six. almost instant kill. Uh, oh. yep. Uh, what else? Uh, I always liked having Snorlax, um, and then uh, Blastoise, and there was another one I would always, always have. Uh, Scizor was tight, um. You know what? Uh, Needle Needle King, or Needle Queen. I used to like yeah, them. I, and I said Hunter. I didn't mean Hunter. I meant Gengar. Yeah, Gengar. which was the final final version. Which you had you had to trade the. Uh huh. <laughs> Struggle sandwiches all the way around, man. I remember yeah. that, dude. You remember having That's- to buy the? Because uh, I I remember my first one was on Game Boy Color. There was no backlight. So you had to uh, you, you had to go buy and buy the light and like a yeah, yeah. or uh, like a little book light. <laughs> yep, and then you would have to get. Um, I would always have to keep batteries on me because I didn't have any mm-hmm. rechargeable packs. Um, I was taking batteries out of remotes. I was getting in trouble. Oh, man. man, every every kid every kid that had a Game Boy had a stash of batteries. Yeah, we used oh, to put bro. batteries in the freezer. Freezer, oh my! I'd be sitting there rubbing them together, sitting there doing every bro everything in my power, everything in my power. I used to, I, I used to think, I used to take all the damn batteries. I didn't give a damn. I, everybody, if you had batteries, if you had batteries, they were mine. Bro, nothing was sacred. Like nothing yeah. was sacred, man. But yes, once again, happy Pokemon Day. Pokemon, Happy thank Pokemon. you for all the memories and all the good times. And please don't handhold people like you did in Pokemon Moon and Sun because it was trash. I'm sorry. I People loved it. I don't know. Maybe I missed it. I thought it was absolute trash sauce. I haven't Once even... Once it gets salty, 
super technical. Well, what no, did it's you, not, what? no, it's not technical. They hold your hand, bro. Like there's markers. Like literally, like you go to here, go to this point, go to that point. Oh, okay. They yeah. hand hold. Not, it took the not. adventure out of it. You yeah. like it's almost impossible to get lost in that game. I hate markers in video games. I hate them. Markers should not exist. Let me find it. Let me tell you why. Because now I feel obligated to go here, but I don't want to check this cavern over here. Yep. I want to go to this cavern. Let me go off course and veer off course and have to Google how the fuck to get back on track. Facts. So video game developers, keep that in mind when you're dealing with video games. That is annoying. Assassin's Creed had that. I hated it. Grand Theft Auto, when they put the damn thing blinking on the map, go here. I don't want to go there right now. Let me rock. <laughs> Let me climb these buildings and let me chill for a bit. He's like, let I got me, stuff to know. do. Dang, man. I, that, that is the worst. That maps, when they give you the map and they give you like, mark, like not markers, but like specific places on the maps, like the name of cities and stuff. Like when I, that's why when I look at PUBG's map, I like it. Yeah. You know, because the only time you, the only place you're going to recognize is if only if you, if you've been there and if you remember the name. Yep. So if I'm looking, oh, that, that was the place where I got this. I know that place. I'm going there. You see what I'm saying? I'm not trying to, you, hey, put the marker here and, you know, run over here this way. I don't want to do that, man. Stop giving me markers and flags and goddamn yellow lines and, you know, roads. I don't want to take the route. Let me walk my way there. Let me climb over these mountains and hilltops and asteroid belts and all of that. And on that note, <laughs> please, folks, make sure to let us know how you guys feel about routes in the <laughs> routes and markers and Pokemon hey, Day guys. in the comments. And then please, 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 hey, please. This, this episode went all over the place. It really <laughs> did, man. I, but we have fun with it, man. It's just off yeah, the cuff. But make sure and subscribe. We really do need your guys' support. And through subscribing and commenting, liking, disliking, it lets us know what we need to do, how we need to make changes, and so we can continue to grow. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, follow us on what Twitch, Player.me, Twitch, Player.me, Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Um, oh, <clears throat> if you... If you enjoy video games, mm -hmm. take a look at Humble Bundle. We have our uh, partner our link. Partner links in the description. Anyone is fine. We do get a kickback. Yep. I'm gonna be honest. We get a little kickback, but not only do we get a little kickback, you get your hands on multiple games for at very or you pay. Well, it's a subscription, and mm -hmm. then you get the games. And sometimes these games can come up to hundreds or these packages of games can come up to hundreds of dollars. So if you're a video game, uh, if you like video games, especially PC games, take a look at the Humble Bundle. And you um, actually donate to charity um, every time you make a purchase. That is true. So, um, yeah, you help out so much. If you ju just take a look at it if mm -hmm. it's for you, go it's ahead. There. If it's not, you know, thank you. But once again, I'm Baron J67. And I'm T. Jones. And we are out. Peace.